All right, folks. Uh, once again, especially for all the new people to Transparent Traders, I'm Jonathan Walker. I'm one of the co-founders and owners of Transparent Traders. We started Transparent Traders, uh, me and James Mason, about three years ago. And we spent the first two years building this platform, creating algorithms and trying to teach people basically how to trade. Um, we fully understand that we're only successful if you're successful and we want everybody to be successful. So the first thing we're going to go over is basically when you come to the Transparent Traders black box, the website looks like this. So you see pricing tabs. Uh, this is where it's going to tell you um, what the prices are and how you sign up to join. If you have a discount code and all your billing details and to click register. How it works is this page is a video that kind of gives shows you the breakdown of what types of trades and stuff that we offer. So right here you can see that we have breaking news. This is an API feed that comes straight from Benzinga. They're probably the second largest uh, news provider when it comes to the financial markets. Um, the Why It's Moving Catalyst, this is a module that we have. It's basically one sentence headlines for um, when stocks are running up high or they're dropping low, when there's a significance uh, of more than just, you know, a couple of percent, we're looking at stocks that are jumping 5% real quick. That's going to be in here. There's a section we, we provide an options activity flow, which is a flow of all the option contracts being bought up by all your big institutions. This isn't the flow of options being bought by the average retail trader like ourselves. This is going to be all the big institutions and hedge funds. We also have a private Twitter and we have proprietary uh, algorithmic uh, trade and view breakout indicators. And then, of course, we everybody who signs up gets the weekly stock alert emails. These are normally longer term swing trades. And they come out on Saturday nights for the most part, that email. So that email comes out weekly. So for the private Twitter and the proprietary trading view breakout indicators, these are ones that you, if you have a Twitter account and you want to be part of the private Twitter and you want to get the breakout indicators, and these are the indicators that you will utilize to help you find the best entry into any trade that you're going to take. Everybody who signed up gets a e welcome email one hour after sign up. This email will 99.9% .9 positively go to your spam folder. So one hour after sign up, you can go to your spam folder. You can find this email. It'll be a welcome email. It has all the facts. It has the links to the tutorial videos in there. It has all the next step instructions on how to gain access to Twitter and the breakout indicators. And it will tell you what information you need to reply back to that email to get that. These are the only two sections of the TT black box platform that are not automated since it's Twitter and we don't control how you can sign up and give people access, it is manual. Same thing with TradingView. We have to manually accept you and manually take you out of the system. All right, so facts. This is basically the probably top questions that were always asked. So the questions are there, it gives you the answers. It also gives you a way, a link that you can click to um, contact support. You can also contact support from the home page. And as you, um, once you get the welcome email, that is your customer service representative as well. So you can always reply back to that email with any questions. And of course, my email and James Mason email is all over the Facebook group and we're always dropping it in the black box chat. And people can, um, you can ask anybody in this private chat once we get into the platform you can ask anybody and they will tell you what our email address is. Uh, you just need to remember that my name is Jonathan, not Jonathan. So it is not spelled with an A, it's spelled with an O. 99% of people misspell that for some reason. Of course, we have a blog as well. You can search right here. We make up 
you know, normally the same stuff we're talking about in the chat and we talk about in Twitter and you see in the Facebook group, it's posted on the blog too, just so anybody who wants to come and see what we're about and trades that we make as a group and different things that we do, it's there. Um, you can also notice that there's a link to the black box tutorial videos from the blog. And then to get started, you would simply click the login button. Your login is going to be whatever email you utilize to sign up for the subscription and the password you created. These were, you provided this information to the system when you when you made your payment. You could not sign up without making this. So you'll enter that stuff in, do the CAPTCHA, and then you'll hit the login button and bam, you're, you are now logged into the system. So we get a lot of questions about, well, how do I find the platform? So once you log in, you can notice that it says open black box right here. So if you simply, for some reason, didn't see that, you can notice that the login button also changes to the black box tab. So you can hit either one of these and it will automatically take you to our platform. So, so now you're in the platform. So the platform, most of you are, Anybody who especially is new already um, can see that right here, we're broken into basically five quadrants inside the platform. Uh, you have a direct link back to the home page. You have a direct link to our Transparent Traders Facebook group. You have a direct link to Discord. On Tuesdays and Thursday mornings at approximately 8.30 Central Time, uh, James Mason, uh, sometimes Jeff is with him, sometimes Todd's with him, sometimes I'm with him, but James will always be live streaming. Uh, those live streams normally last anywhere from an hour to two hours, sometimes three or four, just kind of depends. And um, he's, he's going to be trading live with you. He'll be there to answer questions with you, go over what he's, when he takes a trade, what he's looking at, what he's seeing. So he's going to be teaching while he's doing the day trades uh, while he's trading live with you. The other thing that you notice is you have the squawk box. This is uh, powered by Benzinga. So this is throughout the entire day, you just hit the play button and this will just talk in the background to you. It's gonna be anytime something major is happening in the uh, market, there's gonna be somebody talking on there. It doesn't talk nonstop, it'll be in and out. Um, so you'll be able to see that. So let's break down into the quadrants. So the first quadrant is the black box. This is where you're going to see your swing trade alerts and your day trade alerts. The one thing that I want for new members is, is I want you to forget about the day trades and 100% solely focus on the swing trades for now, right now. These day trades are designed for experienced day traders that are sitting in front of their computer trading nonstop. These are meant to be short, quick scalps. So the swing trades, these are meant to be anywhere from one day to two week trades. So these, this is where you're going to get your bearish and your bullish swing trades. Um, and then of course, you'll be able to watch in the, uh, I'll show you here in a minute, uh, the black box tutorial videos, you'll be able to watch those. And then on Tuesday night as well, I do live sessions for those of us that work day jobs and cannot join the, the morning ones. And it's more of a laid back session to break. I'll go over a few of the trades that I'm looking at for the next day, ask any questions, why I picked those swing trades and um, what my entries uh, targets are and how I just decided what those target entries are. The next quadrant, this is the private chat. This is where you're going to be able to talk with people real time that are using our platform. Um, all of us admins are in here throughout the day. You can ask us any questions. We have a lot of people who've been with us since we released this last February that are gonna be in there and to be able to answer any questions you might have too. You'll notice that normally when the market closes, if you come in here late at night and start asking questions, it'll probably be first thing in the morning before somebody enters. We normally all are, you know, we're traders. So once the market closes, we're normally not in the platform. Um, 
So then we go on to quadrant two and three, which is the why it's moving catalyst. This is where you're going to find the one sentence headlines on why stocks are moving. It's got a filter feature in here where you can just type in uh, tickers names. It's, of course, it's got the date and everything. It's going to tell you why it was either trading lower or trading higher or if there was in some specific news that was released in one sentence. This is to make it so it's kind of part of your DD package. You ever wondered why stocks uh, popped up on your scanner and it was 10% up and wanted to know? This is a quick way to be able to find out. You can go right here. This is going to tell you short and sweet why it's, why it's moving. Um, this is the option activity flow. This is an algo flow. So this is basically sh showing you where all the smart money is. You can come in here and filter for stocks in this as well. This is not the options flow. This is not showing you what me and you are buying. This is showing you what the big boys are buying. Your institutions, your hedge funds, your banks. These are all the big, big money options flow. So these aren't really alerts. A lot of people like to say you want to take one of these bearish or bullish swings in an option contract. Some people like to come down here and see what contracts the big boys are buying. And then, of course, we have the fifth quadrant, which is your breaking news. This is a live API feed that comes straight from Benzinga. So before they post it on their website, all that stuff comes through their API feed. So we get this real time. And this is going to be anything related to finance, the financial market, not just stock related. You'll have other articles on different things, opinion articles. But this is where all your news is going to be. So that's the black box in itself. That's where all the quadrants are. So the very first thing that I recommend everybody does when they sign up, if they haven't watched them already, you can scroll to the bottom and you'll see that you have the link to the black box tutorial videos. We have the, the videos on how to use the scale in ready feature, how to find a, tra a trade using the black box how to use the option activities, how to use the black box alerts for day trades, how to use the swing trades. So these videos right here are gonna tell you how to use everything. It's a good recommendation to watch all these videos before you start trading. And then if there's other things that you don't understand once watching these videos, then you can come in and you start asking questions and that's how you learn. So, the next thing that we talked about and we're going to go over is we talked about the private Twitter alerts. So if you pull up Twitter and you go to our private Twitter, you can see that anything that is penny stock. So the back block, the back black box does the $30 to $400 range. That is the range, the price range of stocks that you will trade that will always be the most successful. You don't always have to worry about pumping dumps in that range, but we do trade the penny stocks as well. And this is where you're going to find all your penny stocks, your low float alerts. Um, for example, B BPTH was alerted through here, alerted at $3.97. Yes, we held that for, I don't know, five weeks. And what do you see? It ran to what, $26 yesterday? Um, that was alerted in here. APOP was alerted in here first. Um, we've had a lot, we've had alerts that were alerted here anywhere from, you know, 5% gainers all the way up to 2000% gainers. But this is where you're going to find all your penny stocks. And you'll notice that when you come in here and you get access to the Twitter, that James mainly does all the Twitter stuff. He's going to walk you through that he posts educational stuff. But as you can see, he's uh, it's not just, hey, here's an alert and move on. It's he's going to tell you here was the alert. You know, he walks everybody through. I think it's time to lock in some profits on BPTH. Uh, congratulations to everybody who weighed in. I'm fully out. But he walks you through every step of the way, different things that we've been holding. He's going to let us, he's going to let you know when to sell, when not to sell. He's going to let you know when to move your stop loss up. So the SP is a good one. Uh, this is something that was alerted at 130. It did go up to 178, I believe. Um, it did drop back down today. 
Uh, some of the brokers weren't allowing you to buy this. You had to call this order in, kind of like APOP is not allowed to be bought on E-Trade for some reason now. But um, you can see that we have a target price. But the, one of the main things that we try to teach in transparent traders is protecting capital and protecting profits. So yeah, we have a target price of 647, but when it hits 130 and it starts moving up, we want to protect that capital. So we use stop losses here and we move those stop losses up as it goes so that you're always protecting your capital and you're always protecting what profit you might have made because you never know what's going to happen like on this one. Everybody was in had a stop loss set. We all entered at the 130 range. Everybody had a stop loss somewhere between 140 and 160. So when that major dump came in, we all got out with not only how much we put in, but we all brought out profit as well. Um, but and we and James does a great job of that with, with all the trades and the and then he posts learning uh, lessons and little quick scenarios on why he's looking for stuff in that. And that's your private Twitter. So once again, to get access to the private Twitter, you must get that welcome email and email in your username for your Twitter. Or you could always, you know, if you can't find that welcome email, you can always email that to myself or James or Jeff or Todd. So the next thing, the other thing that we talked about is the proprietary breakout indicators. One, if you go to the blog, you, we'll just start from the stop. If you go to the blog and you type in breakout and then you click search, you can see down here one, you have the post that says TT Trade and View Breakout Script for the Day Trades and Swing Trades. You have the tutorial video on how to use the swing trading line and how to use the day trading line. You also, once you email in your trading view username and you can you can get a free subscription to trade and view, which is a charting program. We're gonna pull that up in a minute. We'll go over that. But you'll have to, we, we will grant you access. And then here on the blog, you have the instructions on how to add these lines to your trade and view charts. It's gonna tell you step-by-step step what you have to do. It even tells you in here that note, that you do have to do this on a PC before you can have access to them on your mobile device. I know we have a lot of people who trade off mobile devices, but to get these breakout scripts, you can use them on mobile devices, but they must be added to your account. You have to set them up the first time on your computer through the web application. Um, so we'll come back to the black box now. And we've pretty much gone over everything that I was gonna go over except for showing you what the breakout indicators look like. So we're going to use, if you look at this, we'll just pick a free an alert. Uh, let's see here. SPC bearish swing trade is scaling ready. So we will come over here to our trading view. We will pull up SPCE. So this is a bearish swing trade. As you can see, I have two lines. I have the breakout indicator marked with a D that is for the day trade line and it's pink. So it's the pink line. Then you can see I have the breakout line with the W that is the swing trade line and it's yellow. So this is the yellow. So what these breakout indicators, these have a couple of our algorithms programmed into them, into the script. And these are basically helping you pick the best possible entry you can. There's nothing that says that you can't just go ahead and go short in this now, but this line is telling you that you should wait to this 5591 range before you enter. Um, so when you go, you'll have these lines. It's going to give you your entry. So you know at 5591, this was a bearish swing trade. I'm looking for a break of 55.91 before I enter the trade. So I would simply add an alert to it. How I like to use the alerts. I always like to, people who've seen my charts have seen them. I like to use this uh, bright green um, dashed line. You'll put the line on there at the level that you want it to be at. You can right click it, add alert, 
since it's bearish, you'll want to be using crossing down. And there's a course, there's a video if you type in breakout that'll pull up how to set these alerts as well. And then you'll just come in here and you can say SPC bearish swing trade. Looking for entry with a break below. 5592. And then I like to add the date. So this was an alert that came from today. So this would be 2 11 21. And then you just hit hit create. So it's on there. It's got your you got your alert in there. Now you don't you, you can move on to the next trade in the swing trade to start evaluating. You don't have to sit here and watch this. This will pop up. You can have this set up for this alert to pop up on your your mobile device, or if you're trading from your, your PC platform, it'll pop up on your screen. I know within the mobile device, it's normally within about 20 seconds of the candlestick breaking this line that I normally get the alert. Trading view is the fastest, um, I guess, provider of these alerts that I've ever used. I do trade with E-Trade and Webull, and man, Webull, sometimes it might take 30 minutes to get that, that notification. But trading view is really quick on that. So that's how you use these breakout lines. These breakout lines are there to help you best pick your entry. If you are somebody who's at good at building supports and resistances, you can come in there. You might be, you might want to enter earlier. Like I could tell you particularly the, the style I trade is I like to look at the day before I enter. And I like to look at the range that it tried to break through the most and it never could. So personally, like if I was to take this as a bearish swing trade, I would probably not enter it till like right down here at 5527. Just for the simple fact that you see in the morning that in this little 50, 5530 range, it tried to break below that four times. It came, it did break below it once here. Then it came another four or five, five minute candles and tried to do it again and it could not do that. So that that's how I trade. But your best possible entry is always the yellow line if you're not the, the greatest at the support and the resistance. That's why we developed this line. I mean, you can take it immediately after we're after it alerts, uh, but just with everything that's been going on with the election and all the different politics stuff going on, I used to take them right after it did, but I've learned that I like to wait till the uh, the breakout line now, just because you never know what's going to happen. It's just been too volatile. So if you're if it never breaks that breakout line, you know it's basically you didn't trade it, so you didn't take that. You didn't enter it automatically, and it come down a little bit and go up because it never reached the breakout point, and you didn't lose any money because it wasn't a bad trade because you didn't take the bad trade. That's what the reason the breakout lines are for is to make sure you get that entry because when it hits this line, it's going down. You can kind of see back here on these other times, it broke through the breakout line, went down, broke through the breakout line, came down, broke above the breakout line, going bullish, and then went up. So th these lines will give you your, yeah, you might miss out at a point or two points of the drop, but you didn't, you manage your risk by not entering too early. And then you use the swing trade line the same way you use the day trading line. And you can see this a little more in depth in the um, tutorial videos. And I normally do this more in depth in the every Tuesday night now at 7 p.m. Central. I do a live stream for about an hour. That's solely basically me. I'm going to go over the four tickers that I'm looking, watching to trade the next day. And then I do questions and answers with anybody else. And if they have charts that they want to watch me uh, let have me look at and help them find that entry as well. I do that as well.